I'm sitting here on my veranda. The heat of the day is dissipating. Shadows are growing longer in the canyon to the south, and the bottom of the clouds are turning pink. The mountains to the east of the valley are glowing purple. Cindy's bustling around in the kitchen. I think I smell teriyaki sauce. My grade schooler's being mauled by cow dog puppies. The horses are fed, the cows are fat, the quail are chuckling, and the dusk is waiting in the wings. It's times like this I remember my New Year's resolution, to stop once a day and remind myself that this is as good as it gets. But as that thought sinks in, I become fully aware of how many have given so much so I could be right here. Right here for me is to be an American, lucky enough to be born in a country where I am free to worship God, free to better myself to be the best I am able, lucky enough to be born in a time when the knowledge of humankind is expanding exponentially, lucky to be born while prejudices are fading, poverty is constantly having to be redefined, and America's light continues to shine as a ray of hope for the less fortunate worldwide. But the reality of the debt I owe comes home to roost every day in the papers when I read the names of those soldiers killed in the war on terror. Every one of them is directly responsible for the freedom I enjoy. They are each one part of a long line of Americans from all walks of life. Over 200 years ago, a group of citizens as different as Jefferson and Adams, or Bush and Clinton, conspired to declare our independence and invent a country. And they did just that, like none other on earth. And that I got so lucky to be so blessed to be born here is a miracle I do not take for granted. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. This is Baxter Black from out there.